There was a time when we traveled a lot and we were writing songs and, and doing a lot of concerts. And one night we were in a little East Texas town and we were set up at this little church. And uh, when we pulled up in the community, they didn't have a parking lot. And the grass was probably six or eight inches high, weeds. And I looked on the front of the church, there was a lighted cross, but it had been burned out and it was no longer lit. And then I saw there was grass hanging out. And I thought, the least they could do is someone needs to get a ladder. That's, that's the emblem of our faith. Get up there, fix that cross, get the weeds out, clean it up. We got on the bus that night, got in the bunks, and David, there was a storm blew in that rocked our bus on the side of the road. I mean, our bus was just, the winds were howling, and I prayed, and I prayed, and I was so fearful that we were going to lose everything. Well, soon that storm broke, and the sun came again. Now, I'm saying that to tell you this. No matter what storm you're going through today, the sun will shine again. As Donald Trump said the other day, it will pass eventually. When the sun did break, I got off of that bus to go into the little church before anybody got there to make sure everything was set. And when I got up, man, there were leaves uh, or limbs rather broken down in the, the main road and all across the church property. And I said, well, I doubt if they're even going to have this this morning. And then the preacher showed up, and I talked to him a little while. He went on in, and I happened to look at that cross again, and there was those weeds hanging out. And I said, Lord, the least you could have done was help these lazy people out and blown, sent a strong wind and blown those weeds out of that, behind that cross. They're too lazy to get up there and do it. And while I was telling God how to do his work, a little bird came out from behind the cross, and he walked out on that cross arm, and he looked down at me and began to chirp it. I found that to be odd. No bird has ever whistled at me before. I can't even get my wife to whistle at me. <laughs> and I began to watch that little bird, and then finally there was another bird, and another bird, and another bird. Little baby birds. Just learn how, learning how to fly. And they walked out on that cross arm, and they looked at me, and they all began to chirping. And the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart and said, all night, you laid in a bus. You had a place of safety, a place of refuge that you put all of your confidence right there. And that's why you were so fearful all night. You didn't consider that I was greater than the storm. These little birds had no place except behind the cross. They built their nest in a place of safety. And I watched those little birds as they flew off. And the Holy Spirit said, Oh, I would that men would build their families behind the cross. Rather than their jobs and their security and all that they seek. We went on to write a song, There's Refuge Behind the Cross. 